now in classical mechanics is a spinning a ball spinning around a particular axis can orient itself in any direction it can orient itself in this way or this way or this way or this way in any any in any direction but according to the quantum mechanical theory of spin the electron can orient itself only in two direction either or uh, either up or down along a specific axis so the electron can orient itself either this way or this way so the electron spin can orient itself in only two direction and the value of the angular momentum in those two directions are h cross by 2 so sz has a value plus minus h cross by 2 depending on the on the direction and mu z is equals to e by m times plus minus h cross by 2 force is equals to gradient operator times mu z mu z is written as e by m times sz that is plus minus h cross by 2 times bz now as this total term does not contain any x function of x or y so the these two terms will give zero value and the force turns out to be k cap times all the constant that is e h cross by twice m times del del z of bz as bz is a function of only z so f f can be written as plus minus k cap times mu b mu b is called bohr magnetron and it is equals to e h cross by twice m times del bz by del z so this force is the cause of the deflection along the z direction as this is this has only the z component and the deflection can be written as the initial velocity in the z direction times the time plus half times the acceleration due to this force times t square as we assume the initial velocity along the z direction to be zero so z equals to or the deflection equals to half times according to the newton second law a is equals to a by m times t square now the value of the f is mu b times del bz by del z so that is divided by m and the time is approximately the total length divided by the velocity v so l by v total square now this can be written as as there is m v square term so we, we try to separate the m v square term so this term equals this term turns out to be half times mu b times l square by m v square times del bz del z now if we write the half as 1 by 4 divided by 1 by 2 so this term equals to half 1 by 4 times mu b l square by half m v square times del bz del z so 1 by 4 times mu b l square times the kinetic energy uh, as the half mv square equals to the kinetic energy times mu pz by del z we put all the values of this equation all the values in this equation and compare with that compare the and calculate z and then compare the value of the z with the experimental result that is here it turns out that they fit perfectly so this experiment proves the existence of the spin angular momentum as there is no orbital angular momentum in the silver atom so it cannot produce magnetic moment due to the orbital angular momentum that can interact with this magnetic field on the other hand if the outermost electron has a spin angular momentum due to this spinning 
the electron can generate the magnetic moment and this magnetic moment can interact with the, the magnetic field produced by the magnet and due to that interacting interaction force the bending of the path occurs now is, is this experiment also provides the concrete evidence of space quantization a classical spinning object can orient itself in any direction but in in case of the electron spin it can have only two direction either up or down so there is a preferred orientation along space and this is called space quantization and due to this the atom felt only upward or downward force so this also proves the space quantization effect thank you